800 CHAB is proud to present Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. And Greg, as we make the transition from winter driving to spring driving, I think a lot of people probably let their guard down and relax a little more because there are no icy patches out there. But there's still dangers out there on the roads. Oh, there is, Carnes. Uh, the biggest thing, I think, when spring comes, we... Uh, We've got that uh, cabin fever. We want to get out into those rural roads. And uh, for people that aren't used to getting out and driving, uh, gravel roads, you've got to take your time out there because uh, they're different from every other road. Uh, they're not like driving on the pavement. And uh, one thing is in common, they can be dangerous. Uh, in fact, uh, gravel roads, there's over 7,200 crashes each year on gravel roads, and this results in more than 1,000 injuries and 32 deaths. So, you know, it's something that we have to take care of out there. So just some points, uh, you want to take it easy out there and slow down. It doesn't matter how well maintained that gravel road is it is still a dangerous uh, way of traveling. Uh, gravel roads, if they're not posted, 80 kilometers per hour is what the speed limit is on them as well. Uh, that's for good conditions, so you got to be aware of the conditions, and uh, it can be pretty rough out there as our city streets are right now. Uh, also, uh, with your type of tires, they're designed more for pavement than they are for gravel, and uh, it does create a lot of uh, looseness on the road there. So again, you have to be very careful. So when you're out there, you want to accelerate and brake gradually, and also try to avoid swerving to miss any animals or objects on the road because your vehicle may slip or even roll over. Uh, if this does happen, the big thing is remain calm if your vehicle does begin to skid. Take your foot off the accelerator and at the same time look at where you want to go to steer in that direction. Once you have regained control of the vehicle, resume driving. Uh, the other thing a lot of people tend to do is uh, they just leave their hand loosely, grab the wheel firmly because it requires a steady hand and grasp that uh, steering wheel. So you're going to know that it's going to wander somewhat and slightly because you're on gravel. That's going to happen. Uh, so. You want this to allow to happen, but uh, the important thing is that you don't fight the vehicle's tendency to wander by, you know, oversteering too much because oversteering at high speeds on a slippery surface is just a true recipe for a serious collision. So you have to be careful out there. Uh, the other thing is stay on the beaten path. Uh, when there's uh, good tracks there uh, that are already on the road, stay on them and even if there is a track in the center of the road try and stay on that because there's a lot more traction on that when you're climbing a hill or when you're meeting traffic that's coming towards you slow down uh, because uh, you'll have to pull over to the right and uh, there could be large trucks or farm implements so you have to be very aware of that so take the time out there and you may have to stop and when you're pulling over be careful because when you get to that far right hand side you could be pulled into the ditch uh, if you si find yourself drifting off the road again don't slam on the brakes just slow down gradually and then steer back onto the road the other thing when you come behind a vehicle back off uh, gravel roads number one they are dusty and they can uh, decrease your visibility and even under the best condition experts say to keep at least six seconds behind that vehicle when you're on gravel and that's with good conditions so if conditions are worse widen that gap there uh, the other thing a lot of people fail to do is turn your lights on because it just makes it that much easier to see your vehicle when you're traveling with the dust there are ad hazards that are there so those are just common sense things to think about when you're out doing some country cruising in this fine spring weather we're experiencing right now. Words to live by, words to stay alive by. And those stats you mentioned, Greg, the fact there are 7,200 crashes each year on gravel roads, 1,000 injuries and 32 deaths every year, that's in Saskatchewan. That's correct. So just take your time so that when you are you know, doing these things, you're going to get your precious car go home. More tips are available anytime at nohassleinsurance.ca. You can also come down and talk to the folks here at Heritage Insurance and Moose Jaw. Exactly. Check us out on the web, nohassleinsurance.ca, or come down to the corner of Fairford and First Avenue West. It's, it's the office with the red truck on the roof, and uh, we have fine people here to take care of the fine people that we deal with. This has been Ask the Expert on 800-CHAB.